my name is Jill. I have a blog on Jilltastic Nail Design at blogspot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to water marble because I, I was told that I went a little fast last time. I was nervous and sorry. Um, you'll need a bowl or a cup and some water. I just use whatever bottle of water I have in my kitchen, room temperature, pour it in a bowl, your colors. Um, I always start with a base color, base coat and then a base color. I use white because it usually helps the other colors pop real well. And toothpicks to, s to make your design in the paint. Um, tape to tape off your finger. It's not required, but it helps with cleanup afterward. It makes it a lot easier. Nail polish remover, always a must. Okay, so I went ahead and put on my base color and it's dry. So now I'm going to tape off my finger. Trying to keep reminding myself to slow down. Trying to stay in camera is also a challenge. And I try to tuck it underneath the end of the nail at the end of my finger. And then one more. And then I'm going to do two nails this time. So if, I, if you miss something, you can keep watching. Okay, so I'm all taped off. My colors have been all shaken up. They're ready to go. And I grabbed just three random colors that I thought would show up good on the camera. The last time I did bright, and it was kind of hard to see. So get them open. Get them ready. Okay. Now, when you're dabbing your color in, don't hold it way above it because it'll just sink to the bottom. You gotta get real close to the water. And it's going to dissipate. I usually use my Sally's when I do water marbling because they're cheap and they seem to work really well. Two dribbles of each color. I think I might have picked okay colors. Alright. You got to kind of keep moving quick. Pull your toothpick across, make some designs, when you find a design that you like, dunk your finger real quick and then hold it under the water and use your toothpick to kind of get the other nail polish out of the way. It's trying not to work. There we go. Now it's dried. Get it all around your finger. You'll mess up what you just went so hard for. There is that finished fingernail, which is actually really cool looking. I'm impressed. Um, give it a second to dry, or if you're impatient like me, give me the scissors, please. You can ask your daughter to give you the scissors since she's sitting right there watching very closely. And be very careful not to cut your finger. You can cut it off. And tear off the tape. And whatever you mess up, you can fix the nail polish remover. Like that. And there is that finished water marble fingernail. Super cool. Okay. Now like I said I'm gonna do another one. 
just in case I went too fast this time. Trying very hard to be slow. Not in my vocabulary. I keep forgetting to put my hand up here. I messed, I was messy when I put that one on the white base. It's not a big deal. I use um, an eyeshadow brush, it just cleans up the edges. Okay, and one more on the end. Again, I try to tuck it under the nail. You don't want it on the nail or you'll get a little white spot on the corner, kind of like I did with that one. Not that bad, but still. Okay, that one's ready. <coughs> so we're going to do the same thing again. Remember to stay close to the water, otherwise it'll just beat up and sink to the bottom. Okay. Two dots to every color works really good for me. Clean too thick. They're cheap. You can afford to use one each time. Make a design. Just pull it over across. Yeah, I like that one right there. I'm going to see if I can get that. Don't get. And use your toothpick to clean up the water. did a pretty good job this time. Be careful, don't cut your finger. You just gotta get it cut and then you can tear it. There's that nail and then there's that nail. Okay, like with your water if you have been doing it for a little while and you start to get a scum on the top of it, you can just take one of your colors and put a dribble on the top and let it kind of dry and spread out. You can even take your toothpick and pull it to the sides. And just kind of let it dry a little bit. you can take your toothpick and you can pull all of the scum and you've got clean water again. Um, that's it for this water marbling. I think I might just go ahead and finish my fingernails and I hope you have a great evening. Thanks for watching.